Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and in this video, I'll compare Flutterflow and Bubble. These platforms empower users to build dynamic apps without writing a single line of code. In this video, I will delve into a detailed comparison of these two powerful tools, focusing on their key features, ease of use, and pricing. So, let's get started. Flutterflow is a tool that brings the power of Google's Flutter framework to the no-code world. Its core strength lies in creating visually stunning and highly performant mobile applications. Key features include drag-and-drop UI builder, Firebase integration, state management, animations, and responsive design capabilities. It also supports building both iOS and Android apps from a single code base, which is a significant advantage. On the other hand, Bubble is known for its flexibility and comprehensive feature set. It allows you to build web applications with intricate workflows, database operations, and third-party integrations. Bubble's key features include visual programming, responsive design, and a built-in database, and robust API capabilities. It also supports custom domain hosting and real-time editing, providing a full-fledged platform for web app development. When it comes to ease of use, Flutterflow stands out with its intuitive interface and straightforward workflow. The platform offers a clear structure with engaging elements, making it easy to design, develop, and deploy mobile apps. The drag-and-drop UI builder is particularly user-friendly, allowing users to create beautiful interfaces without any coding. Bubble, while offering a higher degree of customization and control, requires a bit more time to get accustomed to. Its visual programming approach involves a learning curve, but once mastered, it enables users to build intricate web applications without any coding expertise. The platform also provides extensive documentation and tutorials, making the learning process easier. Flutterflow and Bubble are both known for their affordable pricing plans, in addition to their free tier. Flutterflow offers four distinct plans. The first one is a free plan with no monthly costs. Following that is the standard plan, which is available at a cost of $30 per month. The pro plan, priced at $70 per month, offers additional features. Lastly, there's the Teams plan, which is also priced at $70 per month and caters to team-based projects. On the other hand, Bubble introduces a similar structure with its four distinct plans. The free plan incurs no monthly costs. The starter plan is attainable at $29 per month, offering more capabilities than the free plan. For small businesses, the growth plan at $119 per month could be a suitable choice. The last plan is the team plan priced at $349 per month, designed specifically for larger projects or teams. It's worth noting that while both platforms offer free trials, the features available in these trials may be limited. It's important to check what each plan includes before making a decision. So, choosing between Flutterflow and Bubble largely depends on your specific needs and the type of application you wish to build. If you're aiming to create visually appealing, high-performance mobile apps, Flutterflow is a great choice. If you're looking to build comprehensive web applications with complex workflows and database operations, Bubble would be a better fit. Remember, both platforms offer free tiers, so don't hesitate to try them out and see which one aligns best with your project requirements. To get started, simply sign up using the links provided in the video description. Thank you for considering this option. I hope you found this video useful and learned something new. If so, please give it a thumbs up to show your appreciation. If you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.